for your next challenge. I want you to think about creating a dish tonight that has been inspired by your life. And it could be something connected to your childhood or favorite ingredients, or even where you're from. But it should have that connection to you. Remember, it's your last chance to earn a black jacket. Your 40 minutes start now. Nice and calm, right? Yes. This is what you know, yeah? Yes, it is. I have no question you're going to slay this. Thank you, Chef. For this dish, I am making a play on boeuf bourguignon. It's a variation of a dish that my mom used to cook when I was a kid. My mom couldn't fucking cook to save her life. As soon as I had my first boeuf bourguignon when I lived in France, I was like, holy shit, my mom's been making this my whole life, but like a way shittier version. <laughs> Going into this last cook, it's an opportunity to put something in front of Chef Ramsay that means so much to you. I feel like when there's a good personal story, it's a good guide when you're cooking. So if I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna go out with a bang, and he's gonna remember the food that Amber Lancaster made for him. No, Amber's doing a filet. Ugh, basic. Nikki looks like she's too calm. Nikki is very calm. Very calm. The question is, is it too calm? This is everything. This is all you on this plate then, right? Yes, it is. You know it. That's every trial and tribulation you had that everything you had Everything to... that I've ever done in my entire life, this is where it started. I feel really strong going into this final challenge. I know that I'm going to be able to execute this perfectly because it means so much to me. That was the dinner of champions in our house. Life was not always easy. It was not always kind to myself and my family. The food was just scarce. Got all these potatoes working. When I was a kid, we would have just dozens of boxes of this stuff, and when we had nothing to eat, we were having boxed scallop potatoes and canned wax beans every single night for like weeks straight. I couldn't bring myself to use wax beans. Sometimes cause... you get the French cut, sometimes you get the regular green beans. What's the French cut? Those I hated them. Horrible. They were so mushy. I didn't appreciate it when I was a kid and I do now, so this one's for you, Mama. Every single piece of this is all for you. This bad baby into the oven, just like Mama did. Just under five minutes, yes? Under five minutes, her chef. Sounds good. Make sure that steak's perfect. I am down to the wire. I am double checking the cook on my meat because the most important element of this dish is making sure that my filet is cooked perfectly. Oh, fuck. What's the matter? It's super raw. Fuck my life. Don't freak out, don't freak out. I'm freaking out. Oh, this is gonna be no joke. The temperature on this filet has to be perfect. Like, I gotta get this last black jacket. Get me down to wire, down to the wire. Two and a half minutes to go. Oh, come on, Amber, get this shit together. Oh, fuck, man. And this may have become a pear compote, but that's OK. 60 seconds to go. Really? 20 seconds to go. Don't overthink it. I have a plan for the way it looks. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five. I love it. Four, I love it. I'm so excited. Three, two, A really good job. One, and serve. Wow. Well done. They look beautiful.